Hi friends, welcome to the Plane Fun RC channel. I'm your host, Saul, and we are continuing the build of the Aeronaut Volksplane. We're going to shift our focus now to the vertical stabilizer. Now what makes this plane so unique is not only does it have a full-flying horizontal stabilizer, but it also has a full-flying vertical stabilizer as well. So there's no movable rudder, just the whole vertical stabilizer moves itself. The build is pretty straightforward. We've got five ribs here, and we have five reinforcement pieces. So the carbon fiber, and we also have a, uh, two, two uh, jigs. The carbon fiber rod uh, passes through the ribs after the reinforcement pieces are, are glued in place. And then, the, uh, then we add a leading edge and a trailing edge, and that's it. It's a very, very simple, straightforward build. All right, folks, let's get started. All right, friends, you can see we have our uh, carbon fiber spar in place and the assembly is resting on the jigs. Let me talk about, show you what we've got going on. First of all, uh, right down here, you can see the jig that is sitting underneath the carbon fiber spar. Uh, once you have your ribs aligned, okay, uh, you wanna make sure that you tape the carbon fiber spar to the actual jig. Now pay special attention to the reinforcement pieces. Notice how all of the pieces here face up. Remember, this is the top. This is the top over here, okay? And this is the bottom down here. All of the pieces face up, except for this one. This piece here on the very last rib needs to face down. Now, when you go at, uh, once you've aligned your ribs, the very important thing is to remember to make sure that the carbon fiber spar is sitting flush with the top rib, okay? The, if you look very carefully, you can see the jig there. There's a little piece on that jig that extends higher up than the rest of the jig that is designed to help make sure that the uh, that this rib here sits flush with the top of the carbon fiber spar, okay? Make sure your ribs are at 90 degrees in relation to the spar. It says in the instructions to use thin super glue. Don't do that. Use epoxy, okay? You're using a carbon fiber spar and you're going to find that the carbon fiber adheres better when you use epoxy. Be very careful. Do not use epoxy on the bottom rib out here because this is the part that's going to sit flush with the feet with the top of the fuselage so be very aware of that okay and uh anyway that's got to sit then we'll put our leading edge on then our trailing edge a couple other finishing pieces and then we're done super quick more to come all right friends as we continue update on the rudder let's talk about what we've got going on here so we've added our trailing edge and let me talk to you a little bit about this you're going to cut slots in the trailing edge that are five millimeters from the front of the tra trailing edge uh, to midway back. And uh, don't forget to angle them ever so slightly because the ribs, as you can see, are angled as well. In addition, we're gonna do the same thing with the leading edge, except the, in, the cut is only gonna be three millimeters in depth. And don't forget to angle those as well. All right, what we're doing now is we're gonna be putting in some diagonal bracing for the rudder, as you can see here. By the way, a little error uh, in the instruction manual. It says S9. The part is S7, by the way, in case you're building the rudder. All right, let's get our bracing added and more to come. All right, friends, our rudder is done. You can see we've gone ahead. We've added our S7 cross bracing there. We've also added our support tabs along the trailing edge of the rudder. Now, be aware that the support tab here on the top of the rudder is different from that uh, on the bottom of the rudder, different angle. So just keep that in mind. All right, friends, we're going to set this aside and continue with the plane. Thanks for watching. More to come.